But can you can you describe it for some of our younger viewers? What, how it, what so it meant? What does the war? What uh, a summary of the war in Bosnia? I mean, yeah. So so people sometimes when when you talk to people today, they said, mm. "Oh, you mean like Syria?" Yeah. And um, I say, "No, it's worse than Syria." But no, it's the same thing. It's the same. Yeah. And before I say this, I want to say that it's for the one who's killed. It makes no difference whether you're killed by yeah. a missile from the air. Or whether you're killed mm. by someone sits your throat. So mm. this is not without, res you know, with, with any respect. But things happened in Bosnia, which have not happened since in and that I'm aware of, and mm. I'm, I stand to be corrected. And I went to a number of war zones during the 90s, not just Bosnia. I actually went there. Mm. Um, that things like that have not happened since. So you had. Um, uh, mosques, for example, mosques were targeted, and I recently mm. went back to Bosnia after like 20 years or so. Yeah. So you had something like 600 mosques in Bosnia were destroyed. Uh, pages of the Quran were used as toilet paper, as excrement. Mm. Religious graffiti was put on the walls. Uh, genitals of imams were cut off. Pregnant women, their fe their uh, fetuses, their they were bodies were cut open, and the fetuses were taken out and replaced with pig fetuses by Serb doctors. Yes. Um, in some cases, uh, um, they would just pull out the, the fetus. Um, rape as a as a policy. It's not like a, mm -hmm. you're not talking about a group of rogue soldiers. Uh, it's actually part of the policy mm -hmm. because they wanted to change the bloodline. Um, so you had an massacres of, of of young children, of babies, of, of women, actually targeting them. Not like they happen to be collateral damage, but they're actively uh, targeted. Mm -hmm. So the word in London in Britain amongst the Muslims of Britain at that time was is Britain going to be the next Bosnia mm. yeah. yeah so a lot of people they weren't they didn't weren't just shocked by the extent of what was happening in in Bosnia but there was that sense of if it's happening there on our doorstep then it might happen here so would you say you would think it would was be less surprising for you if it happened something that happened here because Bosnia was seen as yeah. like the the Bos the the Bosnians yeah. and the Serbs were very when for centuries they lived side by side and they say that there was a lot of a lot more integration, integration this is amongst the thing them and so the forth. But so there was something but when Muslims here they ostensibly or clearly and obviously from a different part of the world, different ethnicities, there's racist element as well. I think there's a number of factors that led to what happened in Bosnia. I couldn't, so at that time we actually believed it. Now looking back with all the challenges that we have and, you know, the problems, uh, you know, the difficulties that we have, mm. you know, I think that's pretty like far-fetched. So you see, it's, it's difficult to look at the, look at history from the lens of today. 